gonna profile this one even though I just got my last Mega 8. Um, oh, that's crazy. But, um, so what we have for you today, um, Kane officially back on the camera. You wanna do the reverse face? Hit, hit okay. that. Hit, oh, you mean like the Freddy when, when he's like, <laughs> oh, hi guys. He's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. like, hold up. Nah, but he used to hit that shit really hard though. Yeah, and smooth. then you found out, like, uh, of course, that. This this man was never holding the camera. They had like that grown ass man. Had to, like, they had to like turn that shit around on him. Yo, you're giving them sneak peeks. No, they didn't get any. All right. Um, so um, this deck we've been like yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking around with, playing like friend tournaments with. Um, this this deck performs pretty well until you play against Ancient Gears for some reason. Um, nah. But you just said to the Ancient Gear deck profile, you know, you drop said not to, that. You just said not to give sneak peeks. Oh, damn. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. Um, so, first off, damn, that's crazy. Um, triple Abominable Snowman. That's crazy. Um, they sh if they if they gave you new artwork, they probably should have gave it a new, um, a new name. Yeah, I mean... They should have just made a whole new um, that danger. That shit kind of bothered me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Because yeah. I was like, those are two different cryptids yeah for sure um I'll so have to say fucking cryptos obviously like if you if you don't hit him um he special summon himself you get a free level eight body if you do hit him pops face up card um remember don't pop gear town um okay next up uh triple thunderbird thunderbird's pretty crazy another free level eight essentially um which i mean thunderbird is wild i was you know i have it in one of my things for master duel mm -hmm. um but uh, ultimately, I was I was playing and I was like, what the fuck, it's, it's a set card? <laughs> like, yeah. I realized like, we, I've just been cheating this whole time. <laughs> yeah, just popping everything. Uh, yeah, but like like he um, made a mistake, pop set cards. Um, if it's hit, if it's not hit, it's free. Um, and, a, and a troll. They finally freed the boy. It's three on the list, so I'm gonna play three of it, three Nessie. That's crazy. Um, gets you any one of them to hand, um, correct? Yeah. Um, that that hand, one yeah. danger card, and it's a card. So if you by chance need any of the danger support, like spell trap, anything like that, you got it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you would really need that, but like. Yeah, there's a couple of cards like I'm I'm missing in the main deck, but they definitely sided. But I'll kind well, of explain. My that. favorite one is you're in danger. Yeah, that card's lower. Cause like just the name itself. Like imagine playing someone. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm sorry, you're but in you're in danger. Uh, <laughs> next oh. up. Uh, two dog man. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people think it's the worst one. Going second one. This isn't that bad. So um, dog man know. will kind of eat someone up if you get if you get its effect off. Yeah, it's monarch stats. Um, you know they snipe it out of your hand. It has their attacks. Oh, I just realized. Um, does that mean it is searchable with monarchs? Because don't most of them just require that you have a twenty four and a thousand? Maybe that. I don't know. I don't. Their domain. I don't know. Not what it's called. I don't know. But whatever. <laughs> Um, this is a monarch. Panty is so one. if it so if you hit it, if they hit it, it has their attacks, and then so either you're gonna crash into all their cards, yes, um, or they're gonna have to negate that effect. Yes, sure so, thing. Surely, surely. One Agapogo, it's like the oh, worst, no. the all-time worst. Yeah, no, actually, it is like the absolute. Um, that shit is. What does it do? It just sends one to the grave from yeah. Back. I mean, um, like you can only you can only do it if you're running. Um, well, you're Shoot. about to find out. Yeah, Damn, so crazy. if you if you dump it to your grave, um, the the amount of luck you have to have um, moving forward to set up like rank eights with this one specifically is kind of crazy. Um, but it does set up. But this deck is pretty luck based. So um, two Mothman uh, was running at three. It's like the best one. It's another Dark World Dealings. Um, you know, if you hit it, draw one, discard one. This card, lo this deck loves discard. Yeah, it's actually got like uh, status as an honorary zombie. Uh, yeah, uh, so does Chupacabra. Yeah. You, know, you hit this one, he's special on one from your grave. Um, he's the second worst, but he's still kind of good because he's a level four. Um, you know, obviously if you hit him, he's special on the one drawing. Yeah, because truthfully, I could just mess around and just normal, normal set, Danger Agapogo for real. Yeah, I mean, for real, um, wins games. Um, <laughs> Danger Jackalope, uh, just free special on one out of your deck. Yeah, I think that's what it does. Yeah, special ones out of your deck and fence. So, um, usually go for the worst one, like if you're setting up a rank 8 play. Oh, so like... Um, yeah, so Agapogo. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, last danger, um, danger is Tsuchinoko. Um, this is the best one, because it's just free. You hit it, special summons, you miss it, special I summons. I thought you said Mothman was the best one. No, in this particular one, Mothman is one of the best ones. 
the suit you know is like the best in general. Do you really, hold up. You really picked the Silver Mock Man during yeah. Black History Month? Oh, damn. Mm, something seems suspicious. Wait, you don't think big... <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, uh, Grappa, uh, Dragon Lord of the Dark World. This card's insane. Um, just bounce the Dark World to your hand, special summon him. He's level eight, um, and you go into rank eight plays. Um, as you know, the most degenerate this card ever was was during um, Gumblar format. Yeah. Um, that's when me and Kane first came back to the game, and that that uh, deck was crazy. They just you linked you, and then like rip four cards out of your hand. I thought you were saying like Gumball, like. Like the amazing world type shit. No, no, no. And then this is like removal too, so it's it's pretty it's a pretty nice card. Um, next up, uh, triple nice. beige. Um, they're all named after colors, I guess. Um, he's free special summon, level four, pretty crazy. Um, brow. It's like how all the characters. I in, guess he's brown. It's like how all the characters in Dragon Ball Z are named after like food. In what? In Dragon Ball Z. Like Goku? Yeah. yeah. Like Vegeta. Man, is like vegetables for His real. vagina. That um, shit's crazy. So, um, Brow, he's just a free draw one when you hit him. Um, this is a free searcher, yeah, Snow. Know. Snow. Um, I see a lot of people cut down to two. I just played at three because <laughs> it, like, any hand with, like, two dangerous, two dark worlds, like, full, full, like, combo. Um, there's not really a combo in this deck, but if there was, it would be full combo. Um, two cards, like, Damn. I see no one playing these, um, probably because they're not that great, but they are kind of at the same time. I, I think this one really reminds me, um, which of course, I think any time where it's like, if this is discarded, just special summon it. That's always great. Yeah, um, this, this card's like insane, and I'll kind of tell like, you can, um, you can play like Hockey Firebrax in your extra deck, I yeah. don't, um, it's just, it's just super free, you hit them, yeah. and then you go into your synchro cards, um, and I'll kind of show you those when we get there. I really, um, I, I, this card would be just absolutely busted if it was like, if this card is sent to the graveyard. Yeah, that's You insane. change it to that, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. I think the main thing that I like about it is that it kind of reminds me of Fright for, oh, we can't Ooh, talk about that right now. Sneak peek, uh, this card's insane, um, Banish a Fiend, uh, discard a Fiend, draw a card, um, so fiend that's discarded activates its effect to draw a card yeah fiend you can pitch super covers of fiend um all your dark worlds obviously fiends um and then you want to get to it so i mean it's once per turn but it's not like a you can only activate the gates of the dark world so you can like just it's kind of like diagram i'm guessing um whatever uh two dark world dealings so that's like four mothman interesting interesting um card destruction uh, this card's mega free. One of the most blessed um, cards ever. Yeah, if there was a more free card, like, um, I don't know what it is. Um, I opened this up in, like, uh, like, five danger cards, just... Five danger and dark roads cards, and just, you know, went off from there. Um, next up, just in case I have to go first, Eradicator Epidemic. Um, sometimes you open this and just trivia off your card and, like, let them do whatever they want. I just blind spell. Um, a lot of people run traps now, um, but... You know, Elvish doesn't care about their tribes being in graves, so like it, I mean, it's not the best thing. Uh, let's get into the extra deck. Okay, the, extra, okay. the extra deck, um, I'm missing like two cards, but they're um, um, lost in the mail. We Witch Apprentice. Um, we, we Witch is Apprentice. Because it's dark. Um, so no. I guess I will go over it um, before I get into it anymore. Yeah. And instead of uh, instead of We Witch, I was going to cut, like, well, I was going to keep We Witch, and I was going to cut like a couple more in these to put in a new dark um, link card. I'll probably put up a picture of that. Everybody knows what it is, came out of Battle of Chaos. But I have like two of those on the way, like currently. So right now, We Witch, um, Barricade, it's a free discard. Also, it's like one of the coolest designs in the game, I think. Personally. Yeah, he's just kind of silly. That shit's like kind of... Um, it's a super free discard. Um, this man's directing traffic for real, it's crazy. Yeah. And then you get your uh, gateway at the end of the turn. Um, curious best zombie card in the game um I'm curious nightmare you serious? uh you uh nightmare unicorn i should be running ip i probably will but whatever um free discard uh appaloosa you can make like four format appaloosa pretty easily wait uh, no griffin no griffin damn should crazy. you could definitely griffin turbo that's crazy um next up for the disease cards yeah uh, hope harbinger yeah this deck makes rank eights pretty easy 
Uh, Hope Harbinger is your spell negate. Tim Gersu is just in Gersu. Honorary zombies right there. That's crazy. I know. Uh, Photon, that's honorary zombie. That's nice your monster know. negate. Um, this card's actually pretty cool. That's that, honorary zombie. That just zombie. is a zombie. Like, rock. Yeah. Where are zombies buried? In the ground? In What's the on the ground? A sky prison. I mean, <laughs> come on now. For goodness sakes. Uh, uh, number 23, Lancelot, Dark Knight of the, um, an underworld. A literal zombie. Yeah, That's he crazy. can he can attack directly, which is kind of funny. Um, so, you know, this, this, this deck never really goes into time, like, in matches. Mm -hmm. You either lose fast or win fast. Um, you, but if it does... With this right here, you can mess around and uh, supplement your deck with, like, a DNA transplant, turn it into a machine, then limit or removal. <laughs> yeah, this is 2005. <laughs> uh... And then um, Abyss Dweller cuts off a lot of stuff. This card extends, it like really helps you. Um, so if they like Nibiru you, cause you're pretty susceptible to it, uh, especially if you don't see any level eights, um, you can get like splash like two more level threes on the field, go into Levinier and keep going. Um, yeah, Levinier is my, my boy. Um, that's it for those. And I guess one thing that makes this Danger Dark World deck profile a little bit different is our uh, Synchro package. Um, so these are just like three, like, um, pretty easily, easy to go into. Um, I went into this like turn one, cause I had like a dog man, uh, dog man, um, fabled. So it like made eight and he's like a monster negate that banishes. So not only does he like negate the problem, he straight out like gets rid of it. You don't got to worry about it again. Mm -hmm. This one destroys a card. It like pops two more cards. Yeah. So pretty crazy. Um, this fabled card. Fabled and and Wrath is is fucking and insane. And Wraith, sorry, uh, this card's fucking insane, right? So basically, um, when he's summoned, he can draw. You draw two cards, discard one, or your opponent can discard a card to negate that effect. Because and then if they discard a monster to their hand from the graveyard, um, I'm trying to remember this word for word. It can special summon it to your side of the field. That's crazy. That's that's insane. Right, but look at this. Pull up your fabled real quick. Pull up your your fabled. My dog boy. Yeah. Uh, fabled. Come on now. Fabled clears. Come on. Come on. You see that? You see what's beside him? Now what's beside him? Oh okay. Oh damn. Oh you you didn't yeah, know about didn't it. Know you didn't about know about it. it. That's crazy. Yeah. So this card's really insane. Oh, here here they go in the comments. It's in the same archetype. Of oh. course we knew. Did you? Really? Why are you talking to yourself? Proof. So basically, with this card, um, if you open up like kind of bad, um, he allows you to like really explode. Or even if you open up really well, you go into him. Yeah. Um, you know, I've ended on like, you know, Appaloosa, um, or I've ended on like Dengirsu, Appaloosa, or Photon, Photon Lord, Appaloosa, and like Abyss Dweller, and like still had cards in my hand. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Um, you might be wondering, like, oh, where's where's Pot of Avarice? Oh, where's gosh. This that? Oh, gosh. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I side out the um, drag down to the grave. I side in two of those, um, two um, Avarice. Um, it just depends on, like, really how the match is going. But um, that's it for this one. Like the video as always. If you like the video, um, comment down below which one to see next. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe. Anything you want to say again? Um, you know when, like, um, whenever you had, like, that stuffed animal that you really loved growing up? Like, you remember that? No. No, I just mean, like, in a general sense, mm -hmm. like, a person mm -hmm. that loves a stuffed animal. Like, and, and Yu-Gi-Oh! really kind of came in, Konami really came in and made Fright Furs. Mm -hmm. And now, like, now, like, my, all of my stuffed animals, my plushies are, like, ruined. And, like, I can't, like, what if they come to life and they, like, fusion summon on me? Fucking you. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it for this one. Like, video. Uh, we'll see you next time.